Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Forever Mimi. Today, I will be preparing and making my own birthday cake. And I will be using the Duncan Hines Perfectly Moist Strawberry Supreme. And here is the frosting. Okay. And I will be using my bowl, my big um, spoon, my blender, and I'm going to use two of my paper, I mean, of my cake pans. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me. And I'm going to go ahead on and do some, uh, some Pam olive oil, okay? So, I showed y'all the uh, cake here. I'm going to uh, add three eggs. Some three eggs. My three eggs here. Some milk. That's one cup of milk. And a half a cup. Of oil and that's right here y'all can see that oil okay now we finna get started y'all back in the box so I won't make a mess. Okay. Alright. Um, and I forgot to let y'all know that I do use baking powder because I do want them to rise because they are in two separate pans. So I am going to get a teaspoon for that. So anytime you need anything to rise, all you need is just some baking soda. That's it. Some baking soda. That should be enough. Because if I put too much in there, it's going to over, um, it's going to run over, it's going to like start rising real, real, um, it's going to rise too high. And you don't want that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead on and start off with the oil here. I'm going to put that in there. And that's a half a cup of oil in my milk. I didn't put the whole uh, cup in there right now. I'm just going to do half now and half later. That's two. That's three. Okay. I'm going to start off by stirring it. And then eventually I'm going to go to the blender. So the blender can give it a good, a good, good mix. But sometimes we mix good, but we still miss. Okay. We still miss. We still have a little hump, bump, or, or we didn't smooth it out a little enough. So, it's okay. You know, they did it in the old school. We just a little lazy on the new school, okay? But some of us old schools still don't use a blender. But, sometimes your hands get in the way to where you can't, <laughs> you can't hold a spoon too long like me. 
Okay. So it's now it's time for me to get the blender. Okay. get my two my two pans here as y'all can see let's make sure y'all can see okay all right here's my two pans right here so I am going to Okay, that should be enough. Now you can also take like a little paper towel or something and go around the edges, which is that's what I'm about to do. Because you want the cake to get, if it's going to touch the ends, it might as well not, you know, might as well have some little moisture to it. Okay, so that's what I did. Make sure I put it all on the ends, inside the pan, sides. Make sure it's good and greased. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead on and divide. I'm going to go ahead on and uh, pour it and into each pan here. bad when it comes to, for them um, to be even because I know it's supposed to be even parts maybe a little bit more over here okay. now when I was blending it I meant to tell y'all <clears throat> when I was putting all the other ingredients in there if you want to add extra, like banana, I meant not bananas. If you want to add like some extra strawberries, then you can go ahead on and start adding your um, extra strawberries. But that's, I should have told y'all that in the beginning. When I was putting, um, when I was putting this together. Now see, I might be uneven y'all. I might just be a little bit uneven. But we're going to see because I got some baking soda in there. But yeah, baking powder. Oh man, what's wrong with me today, y'all? I got some baking powder in here to kind of like let, make it rise. So, yes, here are the two. Here. I'm just giving it a little shake. And then I'm going to pop them in the oven for how long does this need to be in here? I got, let me see what kind of pan. I got two round pans. So. It says 24 to 28 minutes. So we're gonna shoot for we're gonna shoot for the whole 28 minutes, okay? To make sure they are good and done. So I will be back in 28 minutes. Twenty-eight minutes later. And y'all see how I told you the baking soda make it rise. So I'm going to go ahead on, I'm going to let this cool down and I'll be back to get ready to frost it up. 
See y'all then. All right, y'all. I am having pancakes in the morning. I'm going to throw me some strawberries in these pancakes. So I am going to have me some strawberry pancakes tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to be using this pancake mix here. I'm going to use some milk, the 2%, and some flour. Oh, And these are my strawberries. I left them in the water a little bit too long and they started turning. And one egg. Okay. So, we're going to get started. We're going to measure out one cup of everything one cup of pancake mix one cup of um flour and i think one cup of milk if i'm not mistaken yeah no 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 butter i'm sorry y'all i suppose instead of me using milk but i'm gonna go ahead and use the milk i need to get some butter so hold on a minute y'all i read the directions wrong hold on a minute Okay, y'all, I looked in the refrigerator, did not have any butter. So, I'm going to have to use a little bit of olive oil, okay? All right, so let's get it started, y'all. So, we're going to do one cup of, I'm going to still use the milk in a way because I need the liquid. I'm going to do one cup of pancake mix. One cup. Here's the one cup. Y'all see the one cup right there? All right. Okay. Move it out of the way. We're going to do one cup of flour. Okay. One cup of flour. I'm going to add my egg. Okay. And I'm going to do maybe just a teaspoon of olive oil. Okay. And uh, let me see. It says a half a teaspoon of butter. So I guess I'll do a whole. Well, yeah, I'm doing it right. I did say a half a teaspoon of butter. So I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of olive oil. Okay. Okay, and I'm going to do um, just a little milk. Not a whole, not not a whole cup of milk. I'm just gonna do maybe that's a half. That's half. Okay, and if I need some more, I'll just um, I'll just grab it. A little bit more now, and these are my strawberries. So I'm gonna have chunks of strawberries in my um, pancakes. Here it is. Have to mix up. It look like I'm gonna need a little bit more milk. Pancakes. You don't want the pancake, you're running. Okay, and a little bit more. So I should have actually put a whole cup of milk in here. Because I'm steady adding, steady adding. I already did a half and then I'm steady adding a little bit more. So I should have just did a whole cup instead of just doing a half.
think I did a good yeah. All right, so now I'm about to take my measuring cup here and I'm going to put it in here. And um, I'm going to cover it up and it'll be all ready for tomorrow. And all I have to do is just um, take this cup and use it and just measure my pancakes out. cups is made I'm a, a little right at two cups so let me get my um let me get my wax paper that's what it is called wax paper wax paper plastic wrap paper that's what this is called okay so I'm just gonna take this here put it over here and I'm gonna cut it And I'm gonna keep it in the fridge until tomorrow morning, and then I'll be ready to give it another good stir, and then I'll be ready to cook it. So, y'all just wait and see what else gonna go with this strawberry pancakes. <laughs> 